Welcome back to our video series introducing OST Platform. In this video, we will walk through wallet user experience guidelines for integrating the OST Wallet SDK. The OST Wallet SDK enables users to transact with brand tokens from within your mobile application without requiring users to directly manage private crypto keys. Use the OST Wallet SDK to integrate a user friendly, non custodial brand token wallet into your application. Before accessing the brand token wallet, users will be required to update their app. Use push or in-app notifications to alert users of the available app update. In the new app, use images or illustrations to visually represent your token economy. Be clear and descriptive of the benefits of a token economy, and use multiple pages to explain what users get, how they earn, and how they spend. Once users have accessed the new version of the app, they will need to create a brand token wallet to participate in the token economy. When creating a brand token wallet, users need to create a six-digit PIN. This PIN helps emphasize the importance of securing brand tokens. The PIN is used to recover access to the brand token wallet, bypassing the need for users to write down a 12-word seed phrase or private key. The PIN will be used across all multi-sig operations from authorizing sessions to wallet recovery. Be sure to alert users to the importance of their PIN, as it is critical for maintaining access to the wallet. A helpful feature of the OST Wallet SDK is session keys. A session refers to a duration of time during which session keys can seamlessly sign in-app transactions on behalf of a user. Users authorize a session with their six-digit PIN. Once a session is authorized, users can confirm transactions without having to re-enter their PIN each time they want to spend tokens. Sessions are deployed with authorized spending limits and a default duration of two weeks. Once either the spending limit or time limit is reached, a user is required to authorize another session. To reduce complexity, only request the necessary information to initiate a session. Information like session duration or spending limits can be explained elsewhere. Users also have the option to authorize sessions with their biometrics instead of their PIN. Be sure to use the push notifications footnote line to give context on the biometric request. If a user's attempt at biometric authorization fails, allow them to authorize a session with their PIN instead. Display rewards for core actions within your app to drive engagement in your economy. Make sure your messaging is presented clearly when showing users how they can earn tokens. Additionally, provide an immediate reaction by letting users know when they have earned a reward. Give users spending options that resonate with your brand. This helps keep users engaged and strengthens brand equity. Use transaction pop-ups to confirm larger transaction values and notify users of successful transactions with in-app notifications. Spend actions on a web app can also be authorized by using the mobile wallet QR code. Balance and Ledger APIs allow users to look at their brand token balance and transaction history. Display spendable balances along with the current value of the brand tokens in the user wallet. Unique icons and colors should be used to distinguish earn and spend options. Lastly, add the balance widget to your user interface to reintroduce your brand token. Add progress indicators to help users understand the status of an activity. Fast actions are in-app actions and transactions that take two to five seconds or less. In this case, use a looping animation to indicate the progress. The animated loop offers enough feedback to know that the action has been initiated. Long actions include creating wallets, recovering wallets, or authorizing sessions. These actions take 10 to 30 seconds or more. With lengthy actions, use notifications or snack bars instead of progress indicators. This allows users to continue with other tasks without disruption. Inform users when an error has occurred. This guides users to reattempt or change behavior as a result of the error. For example, if users have an insufficient token balance, they will focus on attaining more tokens. The OST Wallet SDK allows users to access their wallet across multiple devices. Encourage users to add new devices by scanning a new device's QR code with an existing device's wallet. Show the QR code status so that the user knows the device is scanning. When the new device is found, display its details along with its address so that the user knows they can trust the new device. If you want to add an additional layer of security, you can enable mnemonic phrases. Users are able to authorize a new device using a mnemonic phrase, which is a secret 12-word backup code. The mnemonic phrase can also be used to recover access to a crypto wallet. 
Consider using inline validations to eliminate errors and labeled process indicators to communicate the wallet's recovery status. Please note that implementing a mnemonic phrase is optional. Finally, let's talk about wallet recovery. If users lose access to their wallet, they can recover access using their six-digit PIN or a mnemonic phrase. Using their six-digit PIN, users can request to recover access on a new device. This is a delayed recovery process that will take 12 hours to complete. Be sure to convey this to users and notify them when the wallet recovery is ready. Alternatively, there is an optional mnemonic phrase recovery method. Having this additional recovery method can help users recover access in the case that they lose their six-digit PIN. To recover access, users will need to enter a mnemonic phrase on a new device. This concludes the OST Platform Wallet UX Guide. Thanks for watching.